Hi guys, Cody and Louie here with Radius Outfitters. We're doing an install video for the gear loft. Congratulations on your purchase. We're gonna go ahead and open this box up and show you the main components inside. All right, we have our uh, aluminum tubes and the white socks. We have our hardware box. We have our cord. And you have your net. Those are the main components for the, uh, for the gear loft. All right, we recommend uh, unpackaging everything and getting yourself oriented, laying out the tubes, the net. Here's your hardware box. We are thrilled with how these turned out. Imagine bending this rack on your workbench at home. And here the hardware, we have this beautiful machined aluminum lug here to join the two halves together. We include a pressed -to tool so that you don't over torque the coupler. Then we have some other uh, mounting parts there as well. Instructions in the, uh, in the top lid there. All right, let's get to the, uh, the van, get this thing installed. All right, here on the passenger side of the overhead console, uh, we need to remove the Torx screw using a T30 wrench with uh, you're going to remove that screw out of the visor clip and remove it completely and uh, that's going to allow the shelf to drop uh, about the quarter inch that you need to get our insert our hardware um, on the top. All right, here we've uh, we've lowered the shelf a quarter inch. We've inserted our hardware, and then we've using the uh, using the factory screw, we've tightened up that uh, visor clip again so that that's secure. So here we are on the passenger side again, installing the second piece of hardware. Uh, you need to use a T30 Torx to remove the factory bolt. You can discard that bolt. And then we provide two different lengths of bolts here. Uh, we provide a 50 millimeter replacement for the NCV3 models, so 2007 through 2018. And then we, uh, we supply a 70 mil uh, bolt replacement for the VS30, which is starting in 19, 2019 and beyond. And uh, yeah, I don't, the, the hardware works on, on both sides, right, Louie? Yes. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're on the passenger or driver's side, that's how it should look. All right, here we are on the driver's side coat hook and we need to remove this coat hook using a, a flat screwdriver you can pop that clip off. And then you can see there's a little metal piece of Mercedes hardware. And what, what size torque is that, Louie? T20. T20. So we'll remove that uh, Mercedes clip using the T20. And, here is... and you can discard that metal clip. Notice that that's, uh, that's just a plastic uh, piece that you're threading into. And so exercise caution uh, when you retighten that. And when I say discard, uh, we don't really like to throw away anything. So just put these extra bolts and coat hooks in a in a box somewhere for later. It's always nice when you when it passes on to the next owner. All right, here we are inserting the driver's side tube into the coat rack hardware. You need to depress the spring spring loaded button there and then slip that tube all the way through and into the front hardware shown there. Okay, here you're going to have to depress the uh, the spring clip again and then push it all the way through until you hear the button clip pop out again all right this is a uh, relatively fragile moment i guess in the in the install process uh, just be careful you have a big lever arm there on the end of the tube and if uh, if you you know push that down you could arguably damage the uh, the coat hook hardware there but anyway, either just, just be careful or have a buddy hold that up for you while you insert the passenger side tube.
All right, Louis is uh, has uh, loosened up all four of the uh, the Allen cap screws there with his Presta tool using the four mil uh, bit, and no no point to uh, completely separate the two halves. It's actually easier to just just loosen it up, and then you can slip that over the one, pop it back into place, balance it so that it's you know clamping both both sides equally. And then uh, tighten, don't, don't tighten one fastener at a time here. You can just kind of snug up all four and then move back and forth across the coupler for your final tightening. And this is where the, uh, this is why we include the formula torque key here. When you, when you get those fasteners to the proper spec, that torque key is gonna break loose once you've hit that four newton meter spec. And then, uh, yeah, and then the tool's yours for other stuff down the line. And uh, check out PrestaCycle for these. Uh, they've got a bunch of neat little uh, torque keys for small hardware and bicycle components. All right, here's how it should look when you've got all the hardware installed. Um, it should look just like this. Notice the, uh, the orientation of the tubing here. Notice how... The, the arc over the, the door there comes up to clear the oh shit handle, the factory oh shit handle. And our, our product still allows the use of the factory oh shit handle. So if you're looking like this, then go ahead and uh, you can torque your coupler down and you can tighten up your, your hardware at these three locations, right and left. And again, don't over tighten the coat hook hardware. That's into plastic. All right, I think I've said it three times now. Sorry. All right, get your net out and uh, oriented. You're going to want the, to see the black screen printed logo on the bottom of the loft there? That needs to be facing down, facing down towards the drivers and the pa driver and passenger. And then you're going to work from this number one mounting point immediately to the right and left of the overhead console. Strap there. And then you're going to have a strap over here that goes around the end of that tube and then your velcro flap is going to go around this tube over the door and then finally you're going to lace across the back tube here so here's the here's just a follow-up to that previous uh clip so you should see that strap running around the uh the hardware up front and coming back onto the net we have another one right there and then we have the uh, velcro flap running below the tube and up and over the back side and back down and then here you can see we're ready to start lacing all right here we are ready to start lacing You've got your three attachment points on both sides completed and next step is lacing. All right, we're gonna start lacing from here and notice your very first move is to go in through the top, down through the, the first eyelet. Pull it snug. And then down through the next. And then down through the next. And so on and so on. All right, we've uh, kind of loosely laced this passenger side and we just want to show you that you might think you're short on cord there but uh you know there's a little bit of finesse involved here you can spend as much time as you want making it beautiful but uh it goes pretty quickly you can just snug it up there as you can see louie's doing get your spacings kind of worked out um and you'll you'll realize you have plenty of cord and then uh, looks like he's got three more, three more eyelets to go there. And then we'll cut and show you the final, final step here. Okay, we're right here at the end. Notice, uh, I mean, just the same way you've been lacing the whole time. We've dropped the uh, the cord down into that that second to last eye that's inside the pocket, and then come into the pocket and come back up in that last eye. And when you've done that on both sides, it allows you uh, an opportunity to 
to tighten that up there, either with a, a knot, if you prefer, or the plastic uh, spring-loaded barrel clip that we uh, provide in the hardware bag. All right, second to last step here. We've got our, uh, was that a cord lock? Cord lock. Uh, with our two, two ends of our cords running through there. And now Louie's gonna do the, the final tightening. That spring-loaded cord lock, tighten that up. And then he's going to tuck the cord lock up onto the top of the loft there and then give it a, a final snugging. Beautiful. All right, final step of the process is uh, admire your handiwork. Gear radius outfitters, gear loft, fully installed, ready to go. Stuff it with uh, lightweight items like sleeping bags, down jackets, hats, laundry. And then notice uh, you can still, the, the oh shit handles are still available there and uh, you can also still stuff items into your your plastic overhead uh, visor shelves there still accessible all right thank you see you on the flip side mm -hmm.